Hey guys! So today we're gonna talk about the ketogenic diet. The thing is, I really hate the stupid labels. I'd rather call it like the winning diet. But, um, that'd be kind of lame too. So let's call it the ketogenic diet. So everyone understands this conversation. Your body burns either fat or it can burn carbohydrates. A lot of people who believe in that you need carbs to survive believe that you eat carbohydrates, your body converts a percentage of it into your muscle as energy, but your muscle and your liver don't store that much glycogen, which is converted glucose. So what happens to the rest of it? Yikes. Well, what happens is it goes right here. Well, not on me, but it goes right here and it goes right here and it goes right here. And you, you're, you learn how to become very efficient at storing body fat when you eat carbohydrates. You have to think, did our ancestors eat from a cracker tree? I think not. What kind of food was available back in our hunter-gatherer days? Think about it. Okay, so let's get down to the business. Oh, yeah, wait, this is the business, right? This is the business. Okay, so this is me progressively in a state of ketosis. I want you guys to see how lean I am. And I cannot run, jump, lunge, squat, or even try to get myself out of a burning building too quickly. It's not going to happen. I busted my knee as a professional skateboarder. You can learn more about my nutrition programs on my website and on Facebook because I write these ketogenic diets for you to understand the percentages and the timing of your food. If you're an athlete or if you're just the average person, you can go to my Facebook, Stephanie Person, kind of sound like a used car salesman, but Stephanie Person Skater, or you can go to my website, stephanieperson.com and learn some more about this process. I feel very, let's say, full of information because I've been in a state of ketosis for four years, zero cheating, no alcohol, no carbo, carbo, hydrates after, let's say, 20 grams. So my carbs are dark leafy greens. My fat is ghee, raw butter. Uh, you can do milk products if you want to. I'm lactose intolerant, so I keep it at ghee and butter. And I also do mm, coconut oil. You guys have to Google Google coconut oil, the benefits of it. It's amazing. It's a medium chain fat. Your body learns. That means medium as in short in its structure. Your body can digest it more quickly and make it more readily available for energy. So even if you eat carbohydrates, it's a good pick me up in the afternoon. Okay, so let's get back to it. People are asking me if it's dangerous. Everything's theoretical, so I'm not a doctor, but I say hell no. Dangerous? I'm freaking aging backwards, okay? Everything, all of my systems, my health improved exponentially the day I started doing this four years ago. So, dangerous? Hell no, my opinion. But I'm not an expert. Just a four-year expert. Okay, the next thing is, how long it, will it take for me to get, or you, not me, you guys to get into a state of ketosis? It takes from seven days to sometimes three weeks. Depends on the individual. And you can't cheat. What is this cheating thing? No, people. You, you, you cheat one day, you start all over again. No cheating. And the other questions are, let's say, energy levels. I work out often three hours a day, not to improve the body, but because I freaking love it. I suffer no lo low blood sugar. And one thing that you bodybuilders need to understand is because you become insulin sensitive, I eat a couple of things of spinach and I'm already releasing the insulin to carry the amino, amino acids into the muscle. So I am never in a gluconeogenesis state or seldom, I should say never, because that is your fight or flight response to raise your blood sugar levels in case there's an emergency, but there hasn't been in this case. So, this is the business, as you guys can see. This is what it's like to not tear muscle down. 
when you work out. So all I'm doing is training my body to burn fat without tearing down the muscle and I'm building because my body's become more efficient at using amino acids. I think that's it. That's enough, right? Until next time, peace!